Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the common belief today that to become a millionaire, you have to cold plunge, you have to read books when you wake up, you have to meditate, you have to go on 15 mile runs, you got to do all this stuff in order to be successful. So I'd like to think I have some success in my life, but Kirby, I have piggybacked off of you. So how often do you do these things? <laughs> all right. <clears throat> And and this is a, a thing that it's funny. It's funny that I, I see it because again, people that give out this advice talk it from different standpoints in their life. When when these people they're talking about they meditate and do all this stuff, that's what they're doing now that they've already made it. That's not what they doing, that's not what they was doing when they was broke. Hell, I remember I was too broke to pay attention. You think I'm about to sit here and meditate? This nightmare is me sitting here trying to meditate, thinking how broke I am. When I was when I was broke, when I was going through it. I mean, I couldn't even sleep at night. I'm worried about, oh, you gotta be the man in the house. You gotta, you know, make sure the family's secure. I ain't got no job. I ain't meditating. I ain't cold plunging. I ain't doing nothing. Only thing I'm trying to find the next hustle, the next get rich quick scheme. I'm trying to find anything to just try to put money on the table. And the true, the true fact of the matter is, is people talk once they hit a level and then they talk from the level that they're at not the level to take people that it took them to get there from point a to b they start talking when they already plateaued yeah if you sitting there with millions of dollars and you don't have no care in the world and you're just trying to organize uh things on a business level and you want to meditate and you want to read books on how to how to run a business more optimally yeah but you already have the money to do it but when you're in a grind and you you trying to go from zero to a hundred thousand. You ain't got three hours of waste to be sitting cold plunging, working out and meditating. That's hours that you could be putting in work. And that's the only thing that I did. Did I read a book every now and then? Yeah, but it wasn't a routine. I picked up the book because I just wanted to get educated. Cause like I said, I was, I couldn't sleep. I was trying to find out how to make money. I just wanted to get educated on something, something that I wasn't taught growing up some that I wasn't taught in the school system so I just I just read but I didn't have no routine I was every waking second of the day I'm thinking how to get out of it and these people that's on social media saying hey this this is what I did to go from to uh, become a millionaire no that's what you did once you became a millionaire once you became a deca millionaire you didn't do it at the beginning because if you anything like me you was so focused on what you work that you could put in to make money to even start thinking about assets then oh well let me go sit in these cold plunge let me go do 12 hours in the gym alex i spent most of my life from the age of 12 to the age of 27 going to the gym every day routine military football college football high school football uh working for the government i was in the gym a warrior I was a gym warrior. I could squat, bench press. I, I was on the thousand pound club. I was broke every day. I was broke every day. <laughs> every day. It, was, it wasn't no routine. It wasn't no routine on earth that was going to stop me from getting broke. Besides putting me into work and saving the money. So I think it's a lot of BS. But again, they're talking from the level that they're at now, not what took them to get to that level. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like all these things that I see that people think that you have to do in order to, especially in order to become a millionaire, like none of those are profit profitable unless you're recording them and you're an influencer and you're putting them, putting those videos on to be monetized up on social media. But if you're not, if you're just doing this on your own time, you're wasting time that you could be using to put in work, like you said. So, you know, now for the book part, like for books, I think there's books that can give you more guidance and knowledge on where you need to go about obtaining wealth and understanding money. But you shouldn't, it shouldn't be like, like I know people that think that they've got a, they're like, oh, what books are you reading now? What, like, like when I read a book, it's like, okay, I read that one. Great. Now let me do work. It's not like I have to have a book every single day because that's just going to keep me back from the goal. But if you... You know, if you have that in a routine where you're constantly reading books, it's just taking more time away unless you're applying the knowledge that you're learning. So and then the cold plunge and all that. I don't know. I, I don't get 
I don't get it. But but the the key factor is just put in work. Just use the time that you would use to do all of that stuff to start your first side hustle and then put time into that to become to make it into a business learn you know put time and effort into investing and studying you know studying is a big one um and that's why i say like maybe not for books per se but studying and education you've always said this you know you have to constantly be learning so the more you learn but the key is the more you learn you apply the knowledge into your work you don't just learn and then do nothing you have to apply it there was a there was a video i was watching on amazon fba where it's um the guy was really successful at e-commerce but he said the difference between me and others that know even more about e-commerce is that i'm doing the work he said unless you do the work you're not going to become successful he said you might know even more than me on how to sell and what businesses to start but unless you're doing it i'm still winning i'm still beating you which is just absolutely true i mean it's the person that is putting in the work that is going to make money off of it right um i gotta heart back on this meditation cold plunge thing one more time i mean this just think of this just just think of this most of the people who talk about cold plunges and you need to do these cold plunges and things like that, all of these people are already uber successful, right? But they're also uber older than me. So they're in their 40s, 50s, 60s, right? When they was broke in their 20s, trust me, they weren't thinking about no damn cold water. <laughs> You ain't even hear the word cold plunge for, until the last what four or five years ago. Yeah. So really, was they was they broke doing cold plunges? Hell no. Was they broke meditating? Hell no. When they was in their twenties, they probably were just barely waking up before it was time to get to work. Oh wait, I ain't gonna go to work. Let me just let me sit here and meditate for two hours before I go into the office. Hell no. They was they wasn't at the they wasn't at these they wasn't at these positions in organizations where they could show up whenever they wanted to. They had to punch the clock just like everybody else. What they did is they did the work. Then once they got higher positions, they got assets, they got money, where it allowed them to free up their time, it allowed them to cold punch and meditate and things like that. People have revisionist history. They want to make it seem like, oh, this is what I was doing. I was hard as woodpecker lips, man. I, I was doing all this. No. I'm telling you from a guy who was stupid broke. I wasn't thinking about none of that. Only thing I'm thinking about is how to get money. It wasn't no meditation. Guy wasn't coming down to save me. It was literally me going to put in the work. And, and I like the part that you said. I hear a lot of people, the one that pees me off the most is, when somebody talk about rich dad poor dad they're like oh yeah i got that book but they still broke i'm like did you apply anything oh yeah let me go read another book oh let me go to dave ramsey fpu and then a guy told me he was like man i think i just need to go to dave ramsey fpu i was like there's nothing wrong with doing dave ramsey fpu university i was like but the question is what do you expect him to say that you haven't already heard before you have to spend less than you make but that's the part that you just won't figure out you think oh i make it i spend it but it's a way to get rich by make it and spending it on bs it's not going to work no matter who you listen to it's not going to work if all your money that you work for going to cars the house you live in uh partying with the family and all that crap you're screwed if you don't if you can't start the building block the building block is living on less than you make or make it more than you need to live on, either way it's fine with me, then you're screwed. That gap is what is going to get you the assets. That's going to get you to do things to have more money and compound on top of that. But if you can't do that, game is over. And you don't need no cold plunge. You only need it 10 minutes to watch this video to know. Stay your ass out the water because water costs money. And uh, that's <laughs> raising up your damn water bill. And that's costing you more money. So damn all that. <laughs> With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, share the video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.